Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you the War Stories Brothers in Armor campaign. During the three chapters of this campaign I am using the Sherman Emcha, which is just an M4 Sherman which is exclusively for War Stories missions. These campaign missions are quite long but I've sped up the parts in between the action to make it as efficient as possible. Enjoy! Not every American tank built was destined for the U.S. Army. Some were transported through the Persian Corridor into Russia. From the steelworks of Detroit straight to the Eastern Front. And it wasn't just tanks that wound up in Russia. The Americans sent experienced combatants, too. Colonel Peters had joined the Russian advance into Romania. With the news spreading that a second front had opened up in France, both sides knew this was a critical turning point in the war. position on the hill, Peters and his Russian crew were about to get their first taste of action as a joint force. The Germans had launched a preemptive strike on the Russian armor. They found us! Bust a hole in their armor! Enemy vehicle destroyed! Looks like that one went right through! Peters knew if he didn't keep his Sherman moving, he'd end up a burning wreck.
tanks routed, Peters looked at his Sherman crew with pride. They had passed their first test admirably. The German preemptive strike had been fierce. The Soviet losses, heavy. Regardless, the orders still stood. The Russian offensive would continue as planned. Colonel Peters suddenly found himself caught up with the push towards the enemy front line. The Russian Shermans had managed to stem the German onslaught, but they lacked the necessary reinforcements to press home their advantage. One thing was clear to Peters, they needed more tanks. now a race against time for the Russians. They could make for the disabled tank and turn it against their enemy, or engage the German patrol directly with the remaining Shermans. Peters prayed they would make the right call. P Peters rallied his crew. It was their turn to strike back at the Germans. Peters had a plan. He'd capture some abandoned tanks and turn them against the enemy.
littered with the smoking remains of German armor. Peters was thankful they had survived, just. But this day was far from over. In one bloody morning, the advantage had swung from the Germans back to the Soviets. The preemptive strike had been curtailed. Peters, bolstered with captured enemy tanks, rejoined the main Russian force for the final assault. As they bore down on the German position, Peters was comforted by the thought that, if he fell, 
he would die surrounded by men he'd be proud to call brothers. This was it. Eaters could, could smash the enemy front line. Germany would be pushed out of Romania. Peters knew that somewhere out there, enemy tank destroyers were waiting to ambush the Russian advance. theirs to savor. Peters smiled and congratulated his Sherman crew. Now that's how you do it! The 
The battle had been intense and lasted several hours. The Germans had fought with dogged tenacity, determined to halt the Soviet advance. But the might of the Russian armor proved too strong. The German defenses had crumbled as the Shermans punched a hole right through them. Now, nothing could stop Russia from knocking the Romanians out of the Axis. This day, this victory, belonged to Peters and his crew. With the news of his departure still ringing in his ears, Peters found himself surrounded by his fellow crew members. Their shared ordeal had bonded them together. Now, these fresh orders were wrenching them apart. Peters may have missed out fighting alongside his men in Normandy, but here on the Eastern Front, he had found new brothers in armor he could stand shoulder to shoulder with. The Brothers in Armor campaign was super fun to play. I really enjoyed the great storyline, and it was a nice break from the regular multiplayer battles. When you're going through this campaign, I recommend having your voiceover volume on so that you can hear the narrator. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.